the expression and yeah, this is to uh the up and coming saints, you know. Well some of y'all gonna realize through the power of the most high God, God's raising y'all up. What you're gonna realize is the power of let go when you already have. Meaning when they when they accusating against you say, Oh let go, it's not doing that. Father God has got your back saying, Oh, he already let go, she already let go, the church already let go. You guys need to put down the golden cows, put down the Jezebels, put down the narcissists, put down the Nebuchadnezzars, put down the King Herods, put down the Pharaohs, put down the Egyptians, put down the Rome, put down the Caesars, and put down the Satanists. That's what God is that's what God's gonna be telling. You know, that's what God's gonna be telling. Some of them that he be telling them in this in this gen generation, he's gonna be telling them the same thing. So right, the up and coming saints, well, if I got to get the cross, love God, of course, gotta be converted to Christ before you do that. But of course, like I said, the up and coming saints. So just remember, that's the power of let go when you already have. See, the power of let go when you already have. That's God's miracle sign and wonder. That's God's miracle sign and wonder. Because see, it's God that's covering you. It's God that got that hedge over you. So you already let go. Remember when you've let go, the enemy, the, remember, remember the enemy gonna shout at you, let go, let go, right? And then I, I guess you the enemy don't even know what it wants you to let go. You know why? Because the enemy himself just wants to destroy your life. Because remember the enemy is vain. So don't live in vain, don't live in vanity. Live in spirit. God is the spirit that you, you know, a lot of living you through Christ. So always follow him. Up and coming saints and the fellow saints of today. Blessings, peace. How are you? Greetings. In Jesus' name. It's just crucified in Christ. The power of letting go when you've already let go. And I ain't got nothing to do with nothing out here. No law of attraction or anything like that. The power of letting go when you've already let go. Meaning God. Meaning God is the one that approves you in the first place. That's how you was to let go and have the security that you have through the most high God. Never through yourself, never through your intellect, never through your smarts, never through any of that. Unless of course it came through the most high God first, and then of course first you must be transformed. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Yeshua, and the water, and the spirit, and everything that he will require that you do. Not that the church requires, but what he requires that you do. And that's in Jesus' name, the power of letting go when you've already let go. Because now you're holding Christ's hand. And you, I guarantee you, once you do that, you won't let go. Peace.